Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello halal family, welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful uh, day In today's video we'll be reacting to Top 10 secret among us uh, tips and tricks So stay tuned, we'll be right back with the video Welcome back guys, inshallah we're gonna get started with the video momentarily And at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction So please make sure you stay until the end With that said, we're gonna get started with our video some Among Us tips and tricks, and let me tell you, we missed a lot in our first video. I mean, we're not just talking big brain here, people. We're going full mega mind with these 10 biggest brain Among Us tips and tricks. And if you don't subscribe right now, then you won't get imposter for the next 10 games. I wouldn't risk it, but coming in at number 10, we have the OP Vent Spot. So if you watched our other videos, you probably heard of the satellite dish over at Mirror HQ, where you could hide behind it to catch an imposter venting. Nothing new though. Well, that tip is becoming less viable now that you can see names through hiding spots. So we've got an even better tip. Over on the Polis map, there's a very oddly placed vent in Admin, the room with the DVD screensaver. Right on the bottom left, the vent is in a small corner with a wall. And because of this, it's designed so that crewmates can actually hide on the other side of the wall. No joke, you could just wait in this spot and get ready for an imposter to vent. They have a higher chance of coming here because they can't actually see you when peeking through the vent. So when they eventually jump out, you catch them red handed. I mean, we're talking big brains only people. But from catching an imposter to surviving as one, we have number nine, spying on your teammate. All right, everyone needs to know this hidden tip when playing as an imposter. If there are two imposters in the game and you're not sat in a Discord call, it can be hard to communicate with each other. I mean, who knows? Maybe you're on complete opposite sides of the map and you wanna know if they murdered someone, right? Well, unfortunately, there's no way to tell. Or is there? Yes, there's a way to actually gather some info on what your imposter teammate's doing. It's subtle and you really have to keep an eye out for it, but trust me, it's worth it. So when you're looking at your kill button and it flickers and shows a one, it means your teammate just killed someone. Kinda amazing to know if your teammate is around a corner waiting for a double kill, or if you wanna know that someone is about to report a body. But for those of you who don't have a helping hand in Among Us, you wanna know about? Number eight, how to stop the reactor meltdown by yourself. So when the reactor gets sabotaged, it's pretty easy for people to ignore it. I'm totally one of those people. Someone else will fix it, I don't know. Well, I hate to break it to you, but a lot of the time people don't, because most people nowadays are just lazy like me. So for those brave souls who head to the reactor and find no one else there to help them, here's a trick for you. So yep, do the reactor sabotage on your own. There's a way. Just go to one of the hand scanners, open the task, and then close it. But as you close it and the task leaves your screen, you must tap the hand. For some reason, this tricks the game into thinking someone is still doing the hand scanner, and now just go to the second scanner and boom, you've saved the lobby on your own the hero everyone in the lobby will respect. But from saving the lobby to spying on them, let's check out number seven, see more on cameras. So if you're the kind of crewmate who likes to chill on cameras all game, hopefully after you finished all your tasks though, then you're gonna like this next tip. Sometimes it gets a little frustrating when you're on cams and you can't see just a little bit more than you need to, but there's actually a way to see more than you're meant to and we found out how. Just go on cams like usual, but then exit them. Now walk directly down and then walk straight back up again. I don't know why, but if you open cameras while walking, the camera moves with you and you'll be able to see a little bit more, even seeing in a cafeteria. But moving on, now we have number six, sacrificing yourself. So if you consider yourself a selfish crewmate, then there's a way to sacrifice yourself in order to catch an imposter in the act. While roaming the world of Among Us, you might notice that a camera in a corridor or on a wall is blinking red. If this is the case, then simply walk and stand right in front of the camera so you hide it and cover up the blinking. Now, if an imposter comes along and murders you, whoever's watching on cams will actually see it firsthand and hopefully you'll catch yourself an imposter for free. But you gotta understand people, this trick is only for those willing to sacrifice themselves for the greater good. So massive respect and big dubs to people who use this. But now it's time we move on to one of the most OP tricks out there, introducing Number five, the Among Us notepad. So there's a tool online made by an Among Us fan, which is extremely helpful to people who wanna get really good at the game professionally. It's called Among Us Notes, and it's a notepad that lets you keep track of everything going on in your game. It shows you where all the vents lead on the map, including where all the common tasks and wiring tasks are. I know it's incredibly sweaty for people to do this, but you could also put people in your suspicious list, make notes, and more. It's genuinely the ultimate tool for Among Us. If you want to get really good at this game, definitely use the tool. Links in the description. But now let's move on to number four, standing still while sabotaging. All right, there are a lot, and I mean a lot of people out there who just stand while opening their sabotage menu. If you're an imposter, people could just see you standing still just before a sabotage, and then you start suddenly moving again. Oh my God, who's the imposter, I wonder? 
Here's how to avoid this. There's actually a way to act natural while also sabotaging. On PC, change your controls to mouse and keyboard on PC and you can walk around while still having your menu open. For mobile, just use one finger to move around and open up your sabotage menu with the other finger. You definitely gotta keep this in mind when you're imposter. I don't wanna see any of you guys standing still after this. But another thing that everyone messes up on is number three, the fake card swipe. So 99% of players don't know what common tasks mean for some reason, but basically it's tasks in the game which every single crewmate has to do. So you could really take advantage of this when you're a crewmate. Let me show you how. The most notable example is over on the Skeld. If you make your way to admin as a crewmate and notice you do not have the card swipe task, that's very important information because it means nobody else has it. So I don't know, let's hang around the area for a bit, preferably in view of the camp so no one murders you, and you can just try and catch imposters pretending to swipe their card. Same thing over on the admin task on Mira HQ and a ton of polis. If you're the imposter and wanna make sure you aren't faking these, just check your fake task list. If card swipe is there, do not do it. But something even more overpowered, coming in at number two, we have venting wall hacks. There's another foolproof way to catch anyone who kills someone in electrical on the Skeld. This helps if you're chilling in security, make sure you use this tip. So instead of sitting on cams, just stay in the room itself and look into medbay. Even though you can't actually see into medbay, you can see the vent itself open in the shadows. Once this happens, go onto the cams and you'll see who walks right out. Boom, imposter caught red handed, it's genius. You can do the same thing in storage too, where you can catch imposters venting into admin. And speaking of being hidden, let me show you our first honorable mention, which is glitching outside the map. It's an honorable mention because it's a glitch rather than a tip, but it's definitely helpful. So over on Mira HQ, it lets you do certain tasks and makes you immune to getting killed, but you also can't report bodies and, well, the other important stuff. Just go to decontamination and make sure to stand in a very precise spot right here when the door closes. If done right, and it's really difficult to do, then you will get thrown outside the map and you can now walk around like nothing happened. But onto our final honorable mention, here's the best hidden corpse hiding spots. There are quite a few spots that imposters use on Among Us to get some stealthy kills, and they are usually at the admin table, behind the box in electrical, and even behind a chair in navigation. These are great spots to use as imposter, but there's also a way to find them as a crewmate. Your report button will light up when you're even near a body, even if you can't see it, so just make sure you keep note of where you're at in the room. But finally, our number one spot in the video is the electrical strategy. All right, there's a download task in electrical and you could use it to your advantage as imposter. If you're in there with someone else but wanna get out quickly, you could pay attention to the task they're doing. If the lone crewmate is doing the download task right here, you could actually vent without being caught. It blocks their screen and lasts a total of nine seconds. Trust me, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. You can even use this tactic to vent to cams, kill the person in security, and then vent straight back with the other person in electrical even vouching for you. Trust me, use this trick when the opportunity presents itself. But this has been Tommy. Click on screen right now to check out this video. It's awesome, I promise. You get a free cookie if you go over there. Thanks for watching. You're watching T5G. That was good, guys. I learned a lot. So in tonight's uh, game in solo, we're going to be using some of these tricks. That was a really, really interesting. 10 great points. I'm going to be trying some of this. I'm going to be uh, polishing up my... Uh, among us uh, skills so if you guys watch this check it out tonight we'll be streaming uh just as the past uh, three nights so make sure you join us and let's play uh, together so thank you very much guys i hope you guys enjoyed these uh, 10 uh, tricks if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you'd like me to react to another video please put in the comment section below as always guys thank you very much for your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family and so i'll see you guys in the next video take care Thanks.